Good morning, friends. Welcome to Take Two for this Monday, the 15th of April, 2019. I'm Jeannie, and I'm so happy to be with you. I hope you all had a fabulous weekend. We had some wild rainstorms yesterday on Palm Sunday, but we were so glad that we got through it. And uh, other than having to pick up a few branches on the, on the lawn, we got through it unscathed, thankfully, even with the tornado warnings that were blowing but that's another story. I'll save that for another time. Anyway, like I said, I am Jeannie. It is the 15th of April, and that means it's tax day. So don't forget, boys and girls, if you haven't filed your income tax, you have till tonight to do it. Don't forget, don't leave it to the last minute. That's one of those things that you just definitely don't want to neglect, okay? But today I've got something completely different to share with you. I'd like to talk to you a little bit today about sabotage. Now, when you hear that word, what comes to mind? Do you think about maybe some spy movies like 007, James Bond, that kind of thing? Do you think about terrorism? What do you think about when you hear the word sabotage? So I decided to check with my good friend, the Webster Dictionary, and look up the word sabotage and see what it says. It says deliberately destroying, damaging, or obstructing something, especially for political or military advantage. How about wrecking deliberately, damaging, vandalizing, destroying, obstructing, disrupting, crippling, impairing, incapacitating, disrupting, spoiling, ruining, undermining, filibuster, impair, damage, threaten, and maybe uh, a, a, a saying that goes along with sabotage, throwing a wrench in the works. Well, yes, of course, sabotage is something that you might be thinking about, say, for example, a political thing or terrorism or, or spies and that kind of stuff. But there's other kinds of sabotage, too. And the sabotage I want to talk to you very briefly about today is the kind of sabotage that people will do to themselves and to others. Now, I knew a family, it was actually a single mom who was raising her daughter, and her daughter's name is Lindsay. Now, Lindsay was, uh, you know, when her parents divorced, she was just quite small, maybe seven, eight years old, and uh, she just, she was a little bit of a troubled child when she was little, maybe because there was just so much disruption in the house, or maybe she was just wired that way, but she always, it was always work raising Lindsay, and then when her parents divorced and her dad became an absent father and he moved away to another place and single mom was raising Lindsay the best she possibly could working two jobs etc etc you know that type of typical situation which is you know heartbreaking but she was trying her best and uh, Lindsay just got into more and more trouble. She had trouble in school. She was extremely intelligent, but she didn't apply herself. She failed her classes in school and go on and so on and so on and so on. And then eventually got to the point where Lindsay was hanging around with the, you know, troublemaking type of guys and, and getting herself into all kinds of trouble. And it, it was really, really heartbreaking because Lindsay's brain had the, uh, the, the capability of doing great things. She could have been a doctor or a lawyer or, or she could have just been a really terrific mom and, 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 you know, just be able to be involved with community activities, very creative. She could paint and draw and all kinds of things. But sadly, she got involved with uh, a, a, a fella, and that man was a little bit older than her, and he wanted her to get involved in crime. Thankfully, she didn't go that far. But when the boyfriend did get arrested for some crime, he, he took part in a theft, and Lindsay did not participate in it, and he got put in jail, the family decided that they would do what they could to intervene and try to really, really help Lindsay. So here she was, a young I don't know, maybe she was 19 or 20 years old, and she had no direction, no job, nothing. So uh, the, the Lindsay's mother's brother decided with his wife, they had the means to help put her in some kind of program, a really, really good program. And they put her in another state in this program, and she was going to finally get her GED. She was going to maybe take some college classes and really try to help her turn her life around 
top-notch counselors and all this. So Lindsay did go, and she was there a very short time, and it seemed like she was getting ahead. She was applying herself. She was getting ready to graduate with her, with her GED, with her high school equivalency, and she had already talked about enrolling in college and going to a nursing program. Everybody was so happy about this. But unbeknownst to everybody else, that man had gotten out of jail. And um, Lindsay had kept in touch with him, even though she was forbidden while she was in the, the really strict throes of the, of the program. She wasn't supposed to have outside contact, especially with, uh, it was very limited. She talked to her mom, and uh, but it had to be monitored because they really wanted to get her on a straight and narrow path. But she was sneaking out and going to a pay phone, tells you how many years ago this was, and she was secretly calling this, this boyfriend. And then the day before, Lindsay was due to graduate with her GED diploma and get started on this nursing program that, that you know, that couple of months later. Instead, she sneaked out in the middle of the night, got on a Greyhound bus, and traveled 700 miles to go see this boyfriend. And what ended up happening? She took off with him for weeks and weeks. Nobody even knew where she was. She didn't tell anybody. She just decided she was going to do that. And she got herself pregnant. And, well, I mean, she and he together got her pregnant. <laughs> and Lindsay ended up having a baby, giving it up for adoption, and just being in the system, and one bad thing after another. It makes me so sad. Every opportunity was afforded to Lindsay. And her mother was crushed by it. Her mother just about had a nervous breakdown. She just couldn't deal anymore. And it was very sad. But what did she do? She threw a wrench in the works. She vandalized, destroyed, obstructed, crippled, impaired everything that everybody had tried to do for her. She was a sabotager. She would sabotage every good thing that was handed to her. And we don't know why. I know there's many, many layers to this onion, and to pull it all off and to try to figure out exactly why she did the things she did is sad. I don't know. I'm not a psychiatrist. I can't tell you. But I do know this. On a much smaller scale, there are many things that, that op opportunities that afford themselves to us, and we miss those opportunities. Or we do other wrong things instead, and we sabotage what's handed to us. It was a gift. This was a gift. Now, I'm not saying that it was like one of those things where we go, oh, Lindsay, you poor thing, we'll just stroke you, we'll let you have anything you want, we'll enable you, we'll give you lots of money and all that, and maybe that will make you happy. It wasn't that kind of thing at all. Lindsay had to prove that she, too, was willing to do some sacrificing, to, to, to make the effort to change her life around, to go to that counseling, to get the help that she needed. But rather, she took a different path, the wrong path, the, the, the sabotaged path. And that makes my heart sad. But I have to examine my own heart and say, how many times? How many times have I done things to completely incapacitate better plans for my life? How many times have I had opportunities to go a certain way, to go a right way, to go down a good path, and I sabotaged it by doing something stupid instead? So I am going to examine my heart. I'm hoping there's a happy ending one day. I've lost contact with Lindsay's mother and with Lindsay. I don't know what happened to them. My prayer is that she finally got to a place where she got some help and realized the root of why she sabotages everything that's good and wholesome in her life. It, it It's, I don't know what it is, but um, I just pray that one day she'll figure it out and that she'll go down a right road. So, boys and girls, if you know somebody who's going through these kinds of things today where they have either a, a child or a spouse or, or, or something in their life where they're constantly, their lives are being sabotaged because of others, because they're constantly making bad choices, I pray that today you can go be a blessing to them, that you could go be that, that arm around the shoulder to encourage and bless. Now, if you are going through situations where you you have to stop and examine yourself and say, wow, 
Maybe I am sabotaging some things in my life or I should be going down a different path. I pray that in this day you look in the mirror and you realize it. Let those things come to mind. Pray a prayer to say, God, is there something or some things I'm doing in my life that is sabotaging the most perfect plan that I could have in my life or better choices I could make in my life? So that's my prayer for you today. Okay, now as I said, go be a blessing. You may end up being the only one who is. You know that, don't you? And don't forget... Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jeannie Sigler, J-E-A-N-N-E-S-I-G-L-E-R. Hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell. You'll get notified when I post another Take Two. And, of course, for great music, great fun stuff. Hey, today we've got a lunch break at 11 o'clock Central Time for two hours of fun and frivolity with Big Tom and Jeannie. Don't forget to tune in to WRMZ.org. I hope you have a blessed, great, precious, wonderful week. It's Holy Week. Don't forget, do something wholesome and beautiful for somebody today and every day this week, especially it being such an important week leading up to Easter. Okay, I love you all very much. Listen, you take care. Have a great week. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Don't sabotage anything. Just do it right. I love you. Bye-bye.